Hello everybody and welcome back once again to the exploration series. Now today we're going to be following the line from Looker station towards Tayport. So just through those trees in front of me there is where Looker's train station is and this is the line that took you towards Tayport. So this, where we're starting here, we've got a passing point on the line. We've got these buffers that have been made I think it's just been made for decoration, to be honest. So this is probably one of the most open bits of track I think I've ever seen. Don't worry, this is this is a fully public area. This is not trespassing. Uh, you can genuinely just walk over this. It's now part of a path through a little park. Uh, so as you can see, here we have, as I said, this is the passing point on the line. This line led you to Tapor, where trains boarded the ferries over to Brotty Ferry before the Tay Rail Bridge was complete. And they've built this wooden crossing over the track here as well, just before the two tracks connect. So straight ahead in that direction, the line continues towards Tapor, but round this curve here, I don't know if you can see it, but there is quite a curve around there. That takes you down to what was RAF Lookers until 2013, uh, but it's now an army base, and that railway transported fuel, aviation fuel, to Lookers. It also provided a link for special passenger services to the air shows. Uh, I don't think this works, but we can try it. <laughs> oh, it's actually moving. No, no, that's stuck. That's, that's completely stuck. Today we are following the Lookers to Tayport Railway. The original Lookers train station opened in 1848 as a four platform station. This served south of Fife, Tayport, and St Andrews. When trains reached Tayport, they either continued towards Warmit or boarded ferry services to Dundee Harbour and Brote Ferry to continue their journey north. Then in 1921 the station at Lookers shut to passenger services and became a goods depot. The line north to Tayport closed in 1956 but the old station remained. The signal box closed in 1959 and the four tracks were reduced to a single track. Then the line closed altogether in 1967. The new Lookers train station that currently stands today was opened in 1970. This is the only station in the Kingdom of Fife to have an island platform. This means that instead of having a platform for each track at the side, it is one big platform in the middle between both tracks. From this station, you can get services to Dundee and the north, and services to Edinburgh and the south. There is also a frequent bus route which goes between St Andrews and Dundee. So just in front of me you can see the junction that I've just walked off of and now making our way out towards the main road here. So this is where the tracks would have crossed the road and started to make their way down towards Lookers Airbase. Now unfortunately the track on the roads have been taken up, uh, the road has been resurfaced over the rails I think the rails might actually still be underneath because if you look at the way they are here, you know, the way that the road is, like, right here, it's got a slight curve, there's no evidence, and you know, it looks quite cracked up, like there's something underneath it trying to get out, uh, so there's no evidence to me that the rails still are in, in existence under this road, I actually think they are. These are the rails after crossing the road here. Uh, if I move this a little bit, you can actually see where the tracks begin themselves. It's quite interesting to have a bit of track this out in the open. Uh, it doesn't happen a lot. Uh, very unusual, I must say. This fence here, unfortunately, we can't get any further. 
but you can kind of make out where the track bed continues. Uh, past this fence is the MOD RAF property, so unfortunately we can't go in. Further down in the town of Lookers, there is more track that takes you into the base itself. But this is all we can look at just now. So this is the start of a public path, well we hope it's public all the way up, uh, towards Tentsmuir Forest and the land that I'm on right now is where the railway would have been. Down here we've got a river and we've got quite a lot of brickwork on the side there. Looks like it might have been a bridge of some sort because the brickwork does look quite old and it looks about right age as well. So this in front of me here, this is the track bed and looking out that way we have Tents Muir. So this is where we start the walk up towards Tents Muir Forest and this eventually takes you to an old road farm bridge that goes over the railway. I have already visited this bridge itself. Uh, I've had a look both under it and over it and it is it's quite a nice structure. It's quite it's quite plain in terms of it looks like every other footpath bridge in existence out of brickwork but I love them all so it doesn't make any difference. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get up there and I will let you guys know what happens next. So after continuing the walk along halfway from Lookers we are now nearing closer to Tensmuir Forest. As you can see we've got some very nice country out here. Right here where this road is there actually used to be a bridge here for the cars to go over. Uh, it was just a little humpback bridge, just a, just a small one over the railway so it would have been it would have been about that height up there. It was just a, it was just a quick up and over kind of bridge. So yeah, this is where the track bed was and it went over the line and continued that way up towards Tents Muir Forest. Uh, so the, the, the bridge that used to be here was unfortunately taken down. Uh, there was a number of incidents, number of accidents that happened because of this bridge and that's one of the reasons that they had to get rid of it. Now after following the rest of the path from the last area we were at where a bridge used to be, we have now arrived at the scene where we still have a bridge. The railway went underneath this bridge and above it was a farm road, it still is a farm road actually. Uh, and up at the top there, I don't know if you can see it, but the date of the bridge, 1847, is written up at the top there. So this is a very nice structure and as I said, I've actually visited this bridge before, before I even knew that it was a railway, but as soon as I seen this bridge, I just automatically knew that this was a railway because that's the good thing uh, about doing something like this, especially, uh, especially being someone that can look at a map or look at a trace of evidence and realise straight away that this is an old railway. It's a really helpful skill to have. So what we're going to do is we're now going to go and have a look on top of the bridge. So this here is a little farm road that takes you up an incline and over the lovely bridge that I've just showed you the, the bottom of. So this is now on top of the bridge that I have just walked under. Over there we've got a car park and into the distance is where the railway bed continues towards Tayport. And looking out this side, we've got the route that I just followed to get here. That way takes you back down towards Lookers. So yes, uh, very nice structure. Indeed, I'll let you see down the side. It is very nice. Now I have arrived at Tayport Harbour. Now, this is where I believe trains boarded ferry services over to Dundee before the Tay Rail Bridge was built. Now, I know at the start of the video I said they went over to Broughty Ferry but after a bit more research, I believe they actually went over to where the Dundee main dock is, where 
if you come into Dundee, you can see the dock straight away because of the giant oil rigs that now sit there all the time with their huge legs. So this is Teapot Harbour and the, where I am now here, I believe this, I believe through in the grass there on the other side of that fence is where the railway bed came along and it went along past the harbour here. So when you got down here, you had the option, now I don't know if it was that pier because it seems to have too much of a, of a, of a slope in it, but the pier I'm approaching uh, is, is a lot more, you know, it's a lot more gradual, the slope down towards the sea. However, down at the bottom where the water actually is, it doesn't look like there's enough room to fit a boat in there, but uh, I could be wrong. So this is where I believe the trains came along the dock area right here and you could board the ferry over to Tayport and on the other side of this fence here was the main line which actually continues through Tayport and goes through Warmit and reconnects onto the main line right next to the Tay Rail Bridge. So continuing on from Tayport Harbour you can see that down there the land is pretty low to how it is up here but even the land here used to be that height there because here we've got a filled in railway bridge and over there we've got another one. So yeah the land here used to be a lot deeper into the ground for the track to go underneath it. A uh, little bit annoying that these bridges have been filled in however they're still, they're still trace of them being here which is okay. After finding these bridges we decided to call it a day. There was not much more left to find. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Thanks for watching.